And so then each layout of farm is going to have one one hut and then there's there's going to be a villager or maybe like a couple like a villager couple maybe even some kids i don't know to to help out with the farm in this episode we are going to do some more uh base setup planning designing and gathering resources again. Um, as you can see back here, I have started a potato farm. What? Potatoes? Brussels? Potatoes? Oh. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. So I am going to do uh, set up some more of those farms. Uh, that'll be pretty cool. And also outside of the stream, I gathered a bunch of resources. Um, mainly sand and gravel. I don't like sand. But first, I must deliver some bad news. When I was playing outside of the, the recording, gathering resources, there were some, some pillagers who came through and attacked, so I'm sad to say, Bun Mundungus Fletcher, Mundungus Fletcher has died. It is a very sad day. And I, I am here for uh, everyone who is having troubles going, going, uh, dealing with this loss. Um, counseling will will be available. See the description. Um, yeah. So the, the stupid pillagers. How could I be so stupid? There were, I think, two, two sets of pillagers who came through, and. I couldn't fight them head on because it, if I fought them head on, then and if I killed the bannerman, I would get a certain status effect that would trigger a raid immediately in this village. So I couldn't do that. Um, I now have. I now have. Ah, oh, come on. I now have some milk that I actually need to carry on me. He needs some milk. Um. Because if, if I kill a bannerman, I get a certain status effect. I can clear it with the milk before I re-enter re this village. So I need to start doing that now. But yeah, they just they just went through and killed all of the villagers. Um, I'm not sure how many of them were actually alive um, when I recorded the last video. But I knew at least Mon Mondungus was alive. But uh, yeah, after... I came back from from killing them. I looked I looked around the village and things seemed really quiet. And then I checked Mundungus's house, and he was gone. All right, what else did I change? Uh, I think the biggest thing that I got. Oh yeah, just testing out some of the concrete here. And yeah, so I got decent amount of sand. Sand. A decent amount of gravel and played around with some colors. I'm not sure exactly what design we need for, what, what colors we need for the base, but I'm also considering terracotta because I noticed, uh, here, let's grab this sample piece over here. This is yellow concrete and orange concrete. And then I looked at this, I'm like, oh yeah, this is, this is yellow concrete. But then I realized it, it has a slight texture and it's actually terracotta. So, yeah, it's more faded, more grungy, I guess. And yeah, so the concrete is more vibrant colors and the terracotta is more faded colors. So none of these really match. Like this is, this is more of a mustard than a yellow. So, don't know. I might want to go with more terracotta colors that could be fun let's do that put this guy back just kind of leaving these guys out but for terracotta instead of sand and gravel what we need is clay which i'm sure that there's plenty of clay around here with these islands um so we could do that also thank you to to sable 30 he uh, if you haven't noticed, um, I have a different microphone that I'm using now, and 
I I think it's much better than the the one that I was using. Um, I still need to uh, play around with the setup because I'm not quite maximizing the uh, maximizing the microphone and uh, the the sound quality I can get from it. But thank you again to Sable30. Uh, check out his channel. He he uh, has YouTube videos and he also streams. So definitely check that out. Um, yeah, Sable30, I will put a link in the description for him. And yeah, thank you a lot. But I'm thinking what we could do. Let's put the farms on this side. And, okay, the village is over here. And it'd be nice to have the farms near the village. But the village is kind of in a bad spot. It's not really in a flat area. So what, what, what we might have to do is replicate these smaller huts oh no oh, i hate that okay let's do this yeah if if you right click on a log it strips it strip to case your logs really they're I, I don't like the look so i'm just gonna use my pickaxe but we could replicate some of these huts over on the other side of the island and so then that way we, we can have farm huts near a group of, like a group of farms. Probably have, um, I mean, it, it'll be different for each farmer, but I mean like one one farmer could, could live in a hut and then, yeah, okay. Uh, one, one farmer could live in a hut and then have like two, maybe three or even four farms around that hut or near that, that hut. So that's like his, his farmland right there. And then it's, it's close enough to where they can walk to the village. Um, so I'm thinking on this side of the island would be cool, but I'm going to have to mess with the, uh, terrain here because the backside, there's really nothing over there. It's too steep. Um, and on this side of the island is kind of a long walk. So I don't know what we should put over here. Maybe, oh, maybe we could have on this side, the, the far side, have like a forest. So that'll be our tree farm. Yeah, that'd be cool. Have like a, a forest over here. And maybe some cool stuff in a forest. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this. I like this. So forest on this side. Farmland over here, close close to the village. Nothing on that side because it's pretty steep. Um, oh, also, we'll probably put the port bordering the village. Let's put the house over here somewhere. Let's actually do this. House somewhere over here. There we go. There we go. So this way when you farm they don't the pieces don't don't fall into the water right there. It just it's just more more convenient when you're trying to farm and let's let's do a wheat farm to start.
how you Yeah, so something like this. So he's gonna have two. This guy's gonna have two different farms, and this this is actually the flattest ground. So he's probably gonna be the biggest farmer in this area. Well, actually, let's have one that has four farms. Let's do potatoes in that one. stalks will grow up and then the melons will will grow in these blocks right here yeah yeah that'll look really cool oh okay you scared me there I think this is a good start so we have where we've planned out where we're gonna put the farms, which is gonna be in this whole area. The, the, the village is right there behind me. And then on the other side is gonna be the forest or the tree farm. And so then each layout of farm is gonna have one one hut. And then there's, there's gonna be a villager or maybe like a couple, like a villager couple. Maybe even some kids. I don't know to to help out with the farm. Yeah. So I'm I'm gonna do the other farms in the next re recording. But I in the meantime I will keep keep these farms up. Hopefully fill out this this whole farm and then get enough to start other farms. And then I'll also start planting trees over here for our forest area. And so yeah, I'll do that outside of the recording. I'll also do some mining. There's there's a lot to do in this world, and we've only just started. So this this is going to be a lot of fun. All right, I think this has been a very a very productive e episode. So see you next time. <laughs>